Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Got a great CCNA security video practice exam and lab for you today on network time protocol. I've got a little NTP lab set up here and you're going to see a couple of valuable show commands and a little extra information as well. What I'm going to give you in a moment is a screen with five questions on NTP and after we go over the questions, if you want to pause the video and think about your answers, fantastic. And then we'll go straight into the Cisco routers that I've got set up here with NTP running and check some of these answers. So let's go ahead and hit those questions. First off, you got to know this one. What port does NTP use? Because if you put an ACL up and all of a sudden your NTP is gone, you better know which port you need to allow. Secondly, by default, what stratum level does a Cisco router take when NTP is enabled and NTP is synchronized? Third question. What stratum level will the router take if NTP is unsynchronized? Fourth, name the two main NTP verification commands. We'll see both of those on the live routers. Plenty of good information there. And fifth, what, fifth, what significance does the address 127.127.71 have in NTP? And I know it's a loop back. That's not a good answer. <laughs> nice try. But we need to know exactly where that address comes into play in NTP. We're going to hit the live rack in just a minute. Just want to give you a quick update here on our pre-sales event for the CCNA security course. And it's just the initial response has just been fantastic. Come on out and join us. My online video boot camp, this is not a misprint, it is $39 when you use the coupon code BULLDOG68. All videos are going to be fully downloadable and you can start watching the videos today. I've actually got that right on the screen for you. It's our pre-sale. Some of the videos are already up, the entire course up by mid-December. But this lets you get the lowest price because the price is going to go up and it lets you start your studies today. And to get that price, all you got to do is click redeem it and just type in Bulldog 68. And there you go, you save 68% and your final price is $39. So come on out there and take a look. If you want the DVD hard copy study guide combo, that is only $97 for both. It ships in mid-December 2012 and I'll give you that same online access for free. Uh, you can only get that at our website, thebrianadvantage.com slash appletree.htm. So let's get to today's questions, or actually answers. And we'll start off with the first one, what port does NTP use? UDP 123. It even all rhymes. That's as good as it gets. NTP uses UDP port 123. Now what I've done in our lab is I have one router configured as an NTP master and another one as a client of that master. And let's take a look at the master first because I want to show you what stratum level a Cisco router takes by default once it's enabled and synchronized. And by default that is going to be the wrong one. There we go. Router 3 is our NTP master. And the two commands I was referring to as far as the verification commands, show NTP status and show NTP associations. These are really important commands to get your basic troubleshooting information. And you can see the stratum number is 8. That is the default when you configure a route, a Cisco router with NTP and it synchronizes. Now that default will change depending on how far away that router is from the master because I'm going to bring up the other router right now and you can see show NTP status clock is synchronized which is what we want to see. Stratum is 9 and that's because I configured this router as a client of our master. So that default again is 8. Let's go back to the screen here for just a moment. Now, what stratum level will the router take if NTP is unsynchronized? What you would see here for show NTP status is it would say clock is unsynchronized, which is not what we want, and then it would say stratum 16. So 16 is the default stratum for a router that is unsynchronized. And finally, this address, 127.127.71. We saw that a couple of times on the live equipment and you can see here show NTP associations and again this is the router that is the client of the master and you can see 10113 that's the address of the master and what you've got to have also is this synced you've got to have that asterisk there for things to be working properly so you're looking for two symbols there 
And it mentions 127, 127, 71 here as a reference clock of this master of 10113. Uh, so let's go to 10113 itself. And you'll notice you see the address here twice. And you're going to see this as the master and sync of a Cisco router if it is itself configured as the master. What it's doing is you, it's using itself for a reference clock. And you'll always see that address 127.127.71 there by default when a, when a router has been configured as an NTP master. So let's take a look at those answers one more time. Uh, NTP uses UDP port 123. By default, a Cisco router will be at stratum level 8 when NTP is enabled and synchronized. If it's not synchronized, it's going to show a stratum level of 16. And again, those verification commands show NTP status and show NTP associations, two very important commands. And now you know exactly where that loopback address comes in. We've got plenty of extra or more CCNA security video boot camps and tutorials on the way. Thanks for watching today's video and for making TBA part of your Cisco certification success story.